happy Sunday everybody well we have a ripe Marseille VS black today and um, last year interestingly enough it did not ripen for me uh, however this year I've kept it in a pot just kept it in the sunny side of the yard and I've got four ripe Marseille VS Black. Last year, interestingly enough, um, it wasn't until I think like late September, almost into October, that I was able to pull off a couple figs, but they were, were definitely not ripe. These are definitely ripe. And um, I'm glad because now I get to do a review on the Marseille or Marseille VS Black and do a review on a ripe fig give it a uh, a true review okay this one is the ripest one out of the bunch okay i've got a couple more on here but they could use another day and we're actually getting some nice sunny weather in this september month so uh, it's helping the figs to ripen, at least some of the ones that are almost there. Okay, so here's the Marseille VS Black. I just pulled this off of the tree. It's a good looking black fig. Definitely nice and ripe. Let's give this thing the weight test here. 20 grams. All right, let's cut this baby open. Oh yeah, that is nice. Okay, so I've waited about two to three years for this Marseille VS Black to ripen. Last year, it did not fully ripen for me, so I didn't do a video on uh, the taste of this fig uh, because it wasn't fully ripe. This year, I do have a beautifully ripe Marseille VS Black. This is uh, looks beautiful. I mean, it's comparable to Kind of a more elongated looking Rondé de Bordeaux almost. Um, it has juicy syrup all in the center right here. Uh, it is a French fig and it's uh, pretty common. Ooh, pretty common amongst the hobby. That's a good, rich, strawberry jammy French black fig. Now there's a lot of black figs that are going to be described as strawberry and jammy. And so at the end of the day, I mean, I thought about it and do you need 100 varieties of black strawberry jammy figs? You probably don't. So at the end of the day, what I'm trying to do eventually with my collection is just shrink it down to about 10 to 15 black strawberry and jammy figs that are productive and do well here in the Pacific Northwest um, because I don't really need over a hundred of those types of figs. It's that, you know, Vile de Bordeaux, Rondé de Bordeaux, this Marseille VS Black, Black Sicily, all kind of have that same type of taste to them and, you know, I'd rather just pick the most productive of those types of trees that do well here um, and, and not have to feel like I need to collect over a hundred black strawberry jammy figs. I mean, hopefully there are folks out there who kind of feel the same way, right? I mean, yes, there are a lot of varieties, but there's no reason, I mean, it's the fig taster with me. There's no reason to have over a hundred of the same tasting type of figs, no matter what kind of names or what country they originated from. Anyways, that's my thought on uh, black strawberry jammy figs. Mars Ivy is black if you don't have it. A lot of people do easily accessible fig and it's a good one if i had to rate it probably seven and a half out of ten see you next time